Welcome to my happy spot. Today I'm going to share close-ups of the stitching. It was a request from one of the subscribers who messaged me and I just want to say here I am so grateful to all the wonderful subscribers who've actually sent me messages encouraging me and um, it's wonderful to be able to interact with you all and as I say one of the subscribers actually sent me a request saying could we please have close-ups of the stitching so that's what um, I'm going to show you today this border has very very little stitching on it um, it's basically it's mostly straight stitch well running stitch you can see I've gone round in a couple of paces and just up and down and I think that's about the heaviest stitch on there. I really, this was actually my first border, so perhaps it was just that at that time I didn't realize that by stitching more, more magic would happen. I'm not sure. I'm not unhappy with it. It works with the center. But as you can see, very, very little stitching. The stitching, this is the center of the, the little quilt that um, we did for the traveling exhibition. Very little stitching. Choice of, of um, threads were deliberately subdued and no color at all. All just shades of gray. And... Um, a little bit of black but again very little stitching so your choice of, of threads are important in some cases on this border um, again not heavy heavy stitching but I did bring in these lines of heavier stitching. I don't know if you can actually see it, but I have used metallics. I've used metallics on this border. There's a lot more stitching on this one. Um, I've used a few more decorative stitches. Like I said before, I don't ever use the cutie pie little stitches on my machine but um, I do sometimes use some of the decorative ones but you can see this one has slightly more stitches more stitching than the previous quilts this border as you can see has a lot more stitching than any of the others and when you do this much stitching, it's when you start to almost get that kind of, like I've said before, that it, it instead of stiffening it up in a lot of cases, it actually softens it up and you get that skin-like texture. There's a new stitch that I haven't used on any of the others coming in there. My normal top stitch, one that I often use. And here's a different one again. The main focus for me is often is is changing my colors often of the the threads the thread colors often, and it's not that they have to be in your face or extremely different to each other. They often just work together, but they do as you get close to the quilt. You can see the different shades popping up and um, it all just adds interest. This was the woven border where this was a woven border where I um, fused the butterflies on after I did the weaving and then stitched over them. And once again not a huge amount of stitching 
with my top stitch stitching going on as well in between the butterflies. There's a lot of stitching on this one. The in the background are the um, your basic free motion courting um, stitching has been used, and then on top of that straight stitching and once again the top stitch. But a lot more stitching on this one than there was on on the actual any of the others. This one, this piece has a lot of stitching on it. There's a, quite a variety of um, thread colors. One can't really pick up too many of them, but it all adds to the, the whole, the overall look of it. If you go closer, obviously, you will pick up that, um, if you look like there, is a purple, um, mauve thread running through there and that's what I like when I when I in a lot of my work I like people to go up close and suddenly see something different thank you for watching this video um, I hope it made the stitching clearer for you and please remember to subscribe if you want notifications for future videos